Watson is now at Cleveland Clinic at the medical school, working not only with doctors, but with medical students. And what we're finding in the next generation of Watson that we call Watson PaaS or Watson 2.0 is that this system now does not just analyze a question, it analyzes a complex situation. So if you're a medical student at Cleveland Clinic, you're presented with a complex set of information about a patient, not a simple question. That is, in a sense, multiple questions, multiple pieces of information. And so the next generation of Watson paths that we've developed basically mimic, mimics the way the medical students or doctors analyze that situation. They'll go through in parallel multiple possible paths to a diagnosis, and they'll actually start with possible diagnoses and work their way back. So think of multiple Watsons operating in parallel, or paths, if you will. So we're finding that Watson is a very powerful tool in that environment because, in a sense, it's thinking like the medical students. And so what we're finding is, and the, and the, the staff at the Cleveland Clinic are really excited because this is accelerating and changing the paradigm for teaching medical students. The third example I would give you is that Watson is, is also fundamentally a different way of interacting with a computer. You know, your own museum, punch cards, keyboards, voice, screens that we operate with today. Uh, interacting with a programmable system to get an answer. Watson, on the other hand, is all about asking the right questions. And what we're finding, whether it's medical doctors or others uh, doing research or trying to arrive at more informed decisions, we're finding that the person actually changes the way they interact with Watson after a few days of interaction, interacting. And they start to reformulate their questions and they learn how to ask questions of Watson that lead them to advanced, mm. advance their knowledge. So in a sense, we're retraining our own brain in how to interact with the system. And we're seeing this in multiple disciplines. Incredibly interesting.